Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Siobhan and I'm a first year medical student at King's College London. I also make videos about medical school and university which is what this channel is all about. And uh, if you're new here, uh, do consider subscribing to my channel at the end of the video if you enjoy it, if you find it useful. Uh, anyway, so today's video, uh, it's related to medical school it's related to getting into medical school and uh yeah it's basically about work experience as you would have seen from the title something that is very important very essential and it's a very central thing to uh, your application for medicine you basically are it's basically a necessity you have to do some work experience to get into a good medical school or to get into any medical school. What is work experience? Work experience is basically getting some exposure uh, to a clinical environment, a clinical setting, uh, functioning of a healthcare system, any relevant uh, sort of uh, environment that would teach you things about medicine and what being in a medical setting is like. So first, basically, what's the purpose of doing work experience? or getting work experience before starting medicine. I'd say the most important thing is developing an understanding, a better understanding of what a doctor does and how a healthcare system works. Uh, not only for your application and not only to strengthen your understanding of medicine before uh, entry into medicine, but also for yourself to understand what you are getting into and whether well, medicine is something that you really want to do. Applications wise, um, work experience is very important for strengthening your personal statement because that's where you're going to mention all your work experience and uh, it's going to basically show a lot of, uh, it's going to give a lot of substance, add a lot of substance to your personal statement. It's going to show that your, basically your personal statement it's all about examples you can make a lot of claims but if you don't have experiences to support them with uh, they don't hold as much value and work experience is what's going to add that value and then it's also very important for your interviews because in your interviews you're asked a lot of questions and uh, about important things in medicine and basically you're asked sometimes you're directly asked questions about your work experience you could be asked many things like that in your interview uh, and you basically need to substantiate uh, all your points and add substance to what you're saying with examples from your work experience yeah so let me uh, begin by talking about my work experience what work experience i did so you get a good idea of uh, what worked for me and what kind of experiences may be useful for you so my first and i'll talk about the i'll talk about the time i did them as well uh, how much before my application what time everything so you get a better idea of when you want to do it what you want to do stuff like that first experience uh, that i had work experience was in internship uh, more like an observership really at a hospital in new delhi called uh, my first uh, work experience that I had was in a hospital in New Delhi and basically I contacted, I got the contact of the one of the senior cardiologists working there and after requesting him to basically come and observe in on his, uh, any part of his department, uh, he agreed and I went and did that and I, he let me and I would sit in in the outpatient department with him uh, and his assistant and basically I would observe consultations and I did this for uh, almost every day for about two weeks and uh, obviously his primary focus was on the patients but he would keep talking to me uh, in between afterwards in between consultations and things like that um, about what he was doing or what was significant in what he was doing uh, things like that so that was my first exposure to a clinical in, uh, setting and uh, I also observed some ECGs and uh, exams like that and yeah and uh, my second uh, experience was this was a really special one it's one I will never forget 
It was, uh, I had to travel all the way to a village in the mountains of southern India for this. There's a massive charitable hospital who run a work experience program for medical students and students who want to start medicine. And basically I applied here and they accepted my application to come and stay there for a week and basically spend the entire day every day in the hospital absorbing various things and that was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I basically absorbed every part of the hospital. I sat in in the outpatient department, I absorbed minor procedures, patient exams. Um, I uh, also went around the hospital, looked at the various resources they had. I absorbed proper surgeries as well, major surgeries. Uh, I think a, one was a repair of an inguinal hernia and I also observed two C-sections which was an amazing experience like watching them deliver a baby that was that was uh, that was like there's nothing like it and uh, yeah it was so fascinating and it really showed me it was it was gruesome and fascinating at the same time like it really showed you like the difficult aspects of medicine because it's it was in a hospital that was resource constrained the, the doctors literally lived in the hospital and they were working long and hard hours they had challenges with language because most of the patients spoke different languages like varied languages which made communication very difficult it was an amazing experience just absorbing uh, all of this. And finally, my uh, third set of work experience, my third uh, work experience happened when um, it was right before my interviews. I went to a hospital right near me and I walked along, not walked, I, I shadowed and I went to a hospital right near me and here I shadowed um, a group of a uh, healthcare team on a particular ward. I was mainly with the junior doctors, but occasionally whenever the senior doctor would come for a ward round, I would trail along with all of them and uh, basically saw them working on all the same patients around that ward and the new patients who came in. And this was just for a couple of days. Basically, the first work experience I did was in, uh, was in, the, in the middle of 11th grade which is uh, year 12 and the second experience I had which was the tribal hospital that was in the summer uh, summer holidays between 11th and 12th grade or year 12 and year 13 and the final one was right in the middle of year 13 or 12th grade right before my interviews so these are the three experiences I had and uh, they were all great experiences and all prepared me like very well for what I was about to get into. And now I'm going to talk about what you want to look out for when you're having such experiences, when you're doing such observerships, when you're shadowing a doctor, you're shadowing a healthcare team. So the first thing I'd say you want to look out for, and I mentioned this in a lot of my videos, is the seven golden skills and qualities. Those are the main skills and qualities of medical professionals and of doctors to focus on. And uh, I've made an entire video about them that I will link up here somewhere. And you definitely want to focus on that because that's something you cannot miss out on. You cannot leave out. It's absolutely essential. <laughs> You also want to look at, out for things that you didn't know before, things that seem new to you, that seem unexpected, and you want to note them down. I'd suggest carrying some sort of a notepad or something around to just take like brief notes, like shorthand notes, and just write down things that you remember. I took my phone with me in which I would just jot down things, one during the day when I was over there, and two after the entire day of us doing whatever I was doing or everything I learned everything I observed everything I felt was new kind of kind of like journaling everything you're go, uh, experiencing and then you want to absorb general skills and qualities like in normal interactions but you also want to absorb the unusual interactions where a doctor is facing a particular difficulty in doing something uh, and how that skill or that quality becomes uh, important in that particular scenario. Also want to observe 
different levels of interaction and different levels of functioning in whatever setting you're in whether it's the doctor and patient interaction uh, the doctor's interaction with other doctors the doctor's interaction with the entire healthcare team or how the entire healthcare team functions and the, how the entire healthcare system is functioning as well if you're in a hospital and observe things about that because that will really help you gain a sort of understanding that you didn't have before and um, yeah I think that basically covers everything regarding work experience hope you found all of that useful i hope that information will uh, help you find work experience that's relevant for you if you've already done work experience i hope that helps you cut out what's important and what you've learned from it and uh, yeah i i think if you uh, focus on your work experience and you uh, really make the most of the situation and you really are observant when you're uh, in whatever setting you're in, you will learn so much and you will, and that'll definitely show in your application and will benefit you, well, pretty much forever because you'll get a great head start at uh, basically understanding what it's like to uh, be a medical student, to be a doctor and yeah. If that was useful, if that was helpful, if you learned something, do uh, consider hitting the like button and subscribing as well and that's it, I'll see you in the next video.